Good evening everyone, the doctor is in, and here are the Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Monsters. This was the last combiner in the Generation 1 line, um, as it was coming to an end uh, in, in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it is also one of the rarest um, and most unique combiners of the Generation 1 line. Uh, it is uh, from the Pretenders, obviously. It uh, also was a much smaller combiner than the other uh, uh, earlier combiners from Generation 1. It was repainted for the Japanese line from Dino King. Uh, the only differences between the sets are the shells and the robots are painted different colors. So this is Bird Brain here, and each one of these guys is a some type of mythical uh, uh, or made-up uh, creature. Uh, this obviously is some type of vulture, and the uh, outer shells are made up of the rubbery plastic. There's absolutely no articulation, uh, but on the back um, there is a, a back plate uh, with the parts of each figure that can attach to it. So we'll just take those off and set them aside for now. These black plates come off inside and they reveal the robot or creature inside as well. So we'll just have to unfold the legs. Uh, Bird Brain's uh, uh, creature is some type of uh, uh, quadruped and it does transform. Uh, uh, very, very simple transformations for these guys. You can see there's the robot head there underneath. Um, we'll just flip this back uh, and then rotate the legs down. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the robot mode and he has a gun that can be put in there. So that is bird brain in robot mode. Here is Ice Pick. Ice Pick is a, another uh, uh, creature uh, with clawed hands, bright orange coloration uh, as well as blue, uh, and um, we'll have his parts on the back here. We'll we'll pull off. We'll pull the whole backpack off uh, and pull his robot out. And there's his beast. That is basically his beast mode right there. Uh, to transform it into robot, we're going to flip the head up and rotate the feet down. And that is Ice Pick's robot mode. Um, and he has his gun that we can put in there. Next creature is Bis Bristleback. Uh, Bristleback does look a little bit like a dinosaur. Um, but uh, we have his gun attached back here. Uh, there's also the combiner fist on here. Uh, to get the uh, backpack off, I found it's easier to push it forward and then just lift it up and set it aside. Now this guy uh, inside is uh, the beast mode for Bristleback. And you can see that um, Bristleback has gold plastic. Um, this guy I will not transform. Uh, this gold plastic can be very brittle. Um, I actually have another one that I've had in the past that um, has already been broken. Um, you can see right there the plastic is broken. Um, I'm not afraid to transform this one since it's already broken. So here he is in his beast mode. Um, for the To get into robot mode just flip that back um, and rotate the legs down and you can position these legs. The bottom of his feet are not flat, so you have to use these legs to kind of help stabilize him. Um, because he is broken here, uh, these uh, this is very loose, um, and this won't, this particular one won't stand very well. He also has a gun uh, that will fit in here. Um, while I was uh, re taking pictures of this guy and I did put his, his gun in another part of his fist broke. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, this is a, a, a second hand one. Um, you can put it in that hand as well. 
Um, but you have to be very careful with these. If you do get one, uh, I probably wouldn't mess with it at all unless you have a broken one that you can mess around with. And here is Scowl. Uh, you get a good look at Scowl there. Uh, it's another beast. Come around the back, uh, remove the foot and his gun, and his backpack pulls off pretty easily. And pull out his robot. And this is the beast. Uh, very simple. Uh, transformation. Lift up the head. Rotate the legs down. And that's it. Uh, only articulation is oboe right there. That is scowl in robot mode. And here is his weapon. Right there. Next up is Wildfly. Uh, Wildfly is very alien-like to me. Um, but um, you can take off his gun and the fist and you can see the wings from the robot beast uh, sticking out the back. Just pull this off and pull out. So in the beast mode first we'll just lift up that um, the head and rotate these two feet down and that is basically the uh, the monster mode <coughs> uh, to get it in robot mode you can uh, rotate these legs down get the feet back out of the way and flip the head down and there is robot mode and here is wildfly's gun Last but not least is Slog. Um, Slog is another alien-like creature. Um, he does, I, I would guess I would consider him kind of the leader just simply because he has the head for Monstructor and also the large gun for Monstructor. Uh, here is his small gun also attached. Uh, you can pull off his, his back plate and pull the robot out. Um, so Slog's uh, uh, robot beast is also has gold plastic. Um, this one probably will break at some point. Um, it does seem to be uh, not brittle yet. <clears throat> I've transformed it a number of times. Um, so, uh, but be aware that this is gold plastic and it will, um, it can uh, uh, be very brittle. Uh, this is his beast mode. Um, you can see his head there um, and his feet. Uh, he's also much wider than the other bots, uh, uh, mainly because he becomes the, the head and chest of the combiner. Uh, for transformation, basically you're going to rotate the feet down, flip him around, and then his head is right here. And that is his robot mode. Uh, and you can put his gun in there like that. So yeah, all of these uh, uh, Robot to Beast transformations are, are very, very uh, simplistic.
So we have our six little pretender monster robots here. We're start transforming it into the combined mode of Monstructor. We're going to start out with the feet. Uh, so right here we have scowl. Uh, we're going to straighten the elbows out, uh, flip the head down, and then rotate these arms to the back. And then we're going to grab one of the feet and use these two pegs to put into these holes. And there's one leg, and then the other leg, which is uh, ice pick. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip the head down, straighten out the elbows, rotate the arms back, uh, and attach the foot like so. And then there's our other leg. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll transform the arms. Um, instead of actually... Uh, well, actually, I can show you how to transform this guy. Uh, flip the head up and rotate the legs back this way and get the legs in that position on either side. And we're gonna we're gonna use the other one for the le for the arm mode because uh, this one's cracked. Um, but basically. We're going to, that is the uh, combiner port. We're going to take the uh, left fist and place it in into this port here, like so. Um, we're going to set it aside for now. So then we'll grab Wildfly here and flip the head up, straighten out the arms. Um, rotate the legs around like so and then grab the right fist and plug it in here I'm sorry I got that backwards it will go this way like so uh, we'll set that aside Next thing we'll do is we're going to grab Bird Brain. Um, he's going to be the waist and torso. Um, so what we're going to need to do is fold up these these legs, similar to what we did with Bristleback, like that. Get this side like that. Um, we're going to leave this uh, this uh, beast head out towards the back. We're going to grab this this waist piece and we're basically just going to uh, insert this into this and it kind of snaps in like so and then we will take slog and um, we're going to straighten out his arms we're also going to flip basically the chest of the or the head of the beast um, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees like that and rotate the feet back up. And we're going to leave the head exposed like that because that's what is going to hold on the Monstructor head. Okay, so we have our parts. Now we just need to combine them. Uh, this is the leg. There's there's two, I don't know if you can see that, there's, there's a hole there. Um, the little divot on the inside of the leg are going to correspond to these little uh, protrusions uh, on the thighs here. Uh, so basically you're going to take them and line them up this way and just push them towards the back and they kind of snap in. Same with this leg. Just going to push it in like that. Um, we're going to take uh, slog and that square um, hole there is going to be where uh, Bird Brain's robot head will fit in. So we'll just push that in like so. And then we can take uh, Wildfly as the right arm and plug it into that square peg. Um, and the same with Bristleback on this side, on that side. 
So there you have Monstructor uh, in combined mode. The last thing we need to do is grab his his large gun, the largest gun here, and put it in. Um, and he does have shoulder articulation. Um, it's actually the articulation of Slog's shoulders. As you can see there, his arm is moving up. Um, but that is the entire articulation of Monstructor. Uh, this is a very cool... Um, cool figure. Uh, it is, by today's standards, not a very good figure. Uh, obviously, it has very little articulation. Um, it's very, very small. Um, I'll compare him here for you to Combiner Wars Wheeljack. So it is deluxe size. So, in summary, I would say that uh, Monstructor and the Pretender Monsters are a very cool piece of Transformers history. Uh, I, I love this toy, um, but the reality is it's not for everyone. Uh, it is uh, very small, uh, very non-articulate. Compared to the today's standards of toys, it just doesn't, doesn't hold up. Um, but if, if you are an older uh, uh, Transformers fan like myself, uh, G1 Junkie, um, you should definitely, I would highly recommend uh, trying to get this figure. Uh, so that's all I have. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor is out. Yeah.